This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and we love making this show available to you free of charge. If you'd like to help us keep it that way, make a contribution to our Karma Jar or become a show sponsor. To learn more, visit our website. Today I've baked a batch of these delicious double chocolate scone hearts. These are a traditional scone, but then I flavored them with cocoa and semi-sweet chocolate. And by cutting them into the shapes of Valentine's, they're perfect for a Valentine's Day tea. Now these scones are made in one big mixing bowl. So I'm gonna start by getting my dry ingredients together. And first I'm going to measure out two cups of flour and I'm going to use my dip and level method for that. Next, a third of a cup of cocoa powder. Now I'm using a Dutch processed cocoa powder but you can use whatever you have on hand. A third of a cup of brown sugar, and remember with brown sugar, we do need to lightly pack it into the measuring cup. And then I'll add that to the bowl. Now to make these rise, our leavening is going to be two teaspoons of baking powder, along with three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to whisk these ingredients together really well. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the cocoa and the leavening to get dispersed all the way through the flour. And I also want to make sure that the brown sugar has been broken up. Next I have a half a cup of butter and I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise twice and then run my knife through it. I want to break that butter up into some little pieces like this and then I'll place that into my dry ingredients. And now we cut the butter in. I'm using a little uh, pastry blender like this and I'll take it, I'm going to press it into the butter and the dry ingredients, just like this. And then you'll notice that the butter starts to collect on the pastry blender like this. Then I just take my finger and push that off and continue cutting it in. What I'm doing here is I'm breaking that butter up so that it's a little more dispersed evenly throughout the flour. And I'm looking for the bits of butter to become the size of peas. And you can see less and less accumulates on the pastry blender. And pretty soon when you pick this up, you can see that the butter is in smaller bits, about the size of little green peas, so that's perfect. Now I have one egg. I'm not going to be using the whole egg in this recipe. I'm going to separate out just the yolk and place that into my bowl. And now the main liquid for these scones is actually yogurt. And you can either use a plain yogurt or today I'm using a vanilla yogurt. Either one works fine. But I do have one cup of it. I'm going to place that into the bowl. And three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to switch to a rubber spatula and I'm going to carefully mix these ingredients together. When you're making scones, you don't want them to get really tough. And the way it can get tough on you is if you stir them too much. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just tossing the wet ingredients along with the dry. I don't want this to look like cake batter because I am going to be turning this out onto my board. So you can see here I have some nice big kind of clumps of dough. That's about as far as I want to take this. Next, I turned the dough out onto a lightly floured board and I pulled it together with my hands, almost kind of kneading it. And then I'm taking my fingertips and I'm pressing the dough out until it's about a 10 to 12 inch circle. Now I have my baking sheet. I'm going to put a piece of parchment on top of it. And you can see I have a little heart-shaped cookie cutter. Now you can use any shape you would like and any size heart that you would like, but I think this is a nice size. I'm just going to take it and kind of lightly flour the bottom of it. And then I'll take and I'll press that into my scone. 
You can see it comes out really nicely and then I'm just going to press that out onto my baking sheet. Now in this first pass I'm going to get six hearts and that's about all I want to fit on here because they will rise a bit. But you can see I have still some more dough left so I'm going to take and pull that together. Again, dust the board just a little bit and press it out. And I'll just continue cutting out hearts, but I won't be putting them on the baking sheet. I'll just keep them to the side here on my board. I got three out of that pass. Then I'll just gather these together, press them out, and continue cutting. When you make scones like this, it's very much like when you make biscuits. You want to just keep using the dough as much as you can. And you know what? It will get a little bit tougher, but because of all the great chocolate flavor, people won't mind. With these little bits of trimmings, I could just press these out into a circle. I don't have enough to make them into a heart, but that's a nice little extra treat for the baker. Now I've preheated the oven to 375 degrees and these are going to bake for about 16 minutes. And now I have a second baking sheet with parchment on it and I'll place the other scone hearts on here and then I'll pop those in and bake them off once the other ones are done. Now while the scones are baking, I just wanted to take a moment and tell you about our brand new badge program that we've launched here at the network. We're really excited about this. What we've done is designed all kinds of badges that you can earn by doing some of the things that you learn when you're watching our podcasts. For example, if you make these double chocolate scone hearts today, you could earn the scone badge. It's super easy to sign up. Just go to our website. When you get there, you'll see that we have all kinds of great badges for things around tea. For example, if you brew a black tea or a green tea or a tisane, if you brew all three of those, then you earn the Tea Master badge. And then of course, if you make tea sandwiches or you make clotted cream or lemon curd, there's a badge for that too. We've even designed a badge if you have a tea party. So it's a really fun thing to do. It's totally free. So just go to our website and you can sign up there. These look great. Now I'm gonna pull them right off and let them cool on this wire rack. Well, these smell fantastic and they would be perfect for a Valentine's Day tea. Now, if you'd like to get the recipe for these double chocolate scone hearts, just go to our website, go to the Come for Tea show notes, and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions or ideas for me, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.